So this is a uh, Union Pacific Crossing Railroad here next to the Honda Center. And down here, this leads to a bridge that goes down to industrialized areas way down there. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for it because down that bridge, there's the Santa Ana River. And on this side, you, you see, there's sort of like a swampy area that caught my attention the other day and I kind of wanted to see like how it looks down there and stuff. You know, always a curious mindset of mine that makes me want to do things like this. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I love this stuff. If only I could catch one really quick, it'll make my day. Or like Dirty Harry would say, go ahead, make my day. So there we go. Santa Ana River is a little bit overflow because of the rain that we got. And we'll do a little bank crossing down here, railroad track. Rain that we've been getting here in California lately, as you can see over there, the flow. It's like there's plenty of those throughout the river all the way and it's like it's going down level. It's slowly it's going down level, down level, down level, down level. And I don't know, it's just probably the elevation that's going down until you get to the ocean. Look at the beautiful mountains down there though. Look, there we go. So it's just like this is like a draining spot where usually the sewage gets um Probably collects and then it delivers down to this little tunnel. Let me zoom in a little more. There you go. It was a very slow day, so I was able to get out and venture a little bit. I'm gonna try to make it down to that little path down there. Stick down. Try to make it to that thing. Maybe we can make it to that little tunnel side right there real quick. So the lower side of the river coming down. All that debris from the mountains just keep pouring up and collecting while well, it's making its way down to um I think I believe it's Huntington Beach where is the ending of it or somewhere around there and more debris down there now this place part here is cemented so I'm not really worried much not if it was sandy then it was a lot worse I wouldn't be able to make it down to this area luckily we have those rocks hanging out oh neat oh yes I love it. I'm so glad I was off early today for coming check this out. I could just imagine when it's freaking storming down here. Let me make a crotch jump really quick. Oh, there we go. I just saw homeless over there on the other side too. There we go. More water down there. A little dam. Homeless guy over there hanging out. Let's see what kind of debris we find out here. All this trashy stuff. I don't even know why people do this. All these stormy nights that we had. Stormy days and night. But look, let's bring him first back into the mix. The little semi dam again. Over there. There's more mud collects through my shoe. The tougher it gets for me to be able to move faster. Kind of my feet gets a little bit heavy. And I have to go around this again. Hold up. There we go. Go ahead and jump out there. So yeah, it looks like the homeless lives around here, but I'm gonna go around this area. More of the water dripping down here from the left of the raining um stormy days and nights collect steel it's a lot of holes here and there's no 
little bones over here, to be honest. Pretty close too to be snakes. I don't know. Hard to tell. But there's a. Well, every time I hear those sudden noises, kind of freaks me out a bit. There we go. A little swampy area before it releases down to the Minik um, Dam. But it doesn't really go there, it goes through that pipe down there and makes it out to that little cement tunnel. There's very huge holes out here. It's kind of getting a little worried like what kind of animals we have out here that make those big holes. But let me focus a little more. Yeah, it's just swampy all the way over there to the road. All the way down there. Can can't tell much of the how beautiful those mountains look from here right now. I think it's a good timing that came out here. Well, I'm gonna head back now. I found myself very intrigued with this drawing that I actually took pictures of. But I'm gonna read what it says. It says, a young man who does not fight and conquer has missed the best. Nice part part of his youth and an old man who does not know how to listen to the secrets of the brooks as they tumble upon from the peaks to the valleys is the, is a spiritual mummy interesting words man let me get out of the little side here too close to the wall can't really see much but yeah there's another piece here where's the wisdom in a way And there's the railroad crossing again. My way to the car. Curiosity moment. And there's a train is coming right behind me. I'll give a new sort of like little glance of this area. Really quick. And there's a Union Pacific Railroad right there. Auto center with everything. And there you have it. Same railroad tracks. You see a random, random trains pass through here another time. Let me move that out of the way. Random trains out of here and there another time. You know, it's on the industrialized railroading. But I heard it once honk around here and after that I never seen it. You know, run through here. But it does every day though.